first and foremost, we'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rukakadash. <coughs> we like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Ruel, who teach us this truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to Yakim, the Maude, who push the gospel in sincerity and truth, daisy brothers from Trinidad Camp, coming to with another lesson to feed the lek at the house of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Now, in title this one, The Lord Remember Her Sins. He saw Edom, aka America, Babylon. Right? The Lord remember the wickedness. Where he had done from ancient time to this modern time. Right? He cup overflow with yeah. wickedness. He cup overflowing right now. Right? And the Lord about to deal with him. Right? The Lord fed up a he. These are the people who the Lord have an indignation with forever. Right, the law, in, the law in war with Amalek. Right, so it's not all forgotten. The Lord remember what, what you all has done during slavery. Right, to his people Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and a recompense is coming by the hands of our Lord Yahweh Basham, Yahushai, to all you Edomites, all you so-called white people who are the descendants of Esau, Edom, and you heathens. Right? Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 22. What if power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? We know the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction are the Edomites. And the scriptures say he enduring them with much long suffering. You know? <laughs> It's not he he ain't pleased with them and you know, the father wanted to destroy them, but you remember he said the time in which to do it. So right now he's restraining himself. But we are living in the time where that restraint is at an end. The father is going to recompense them for all that they did. And like he rightfully said, he said the condition in which he would he would no longer restrain himself. The cup overflow. John. That cup overflow. So that they they unknowingly seal the fate and, br and, and, and bring this judgment upon the head. Because the wickedness, they allow the wickedness to, to, to overflow the cup. So the father was just bearing it, he was bearing it, he was bearing it. And you know the thing, take us for example. If somebody, if somebody do us something and we want revenge on them. And we want the revenge to be in such a way to utterly destroy that person. You know we're going to restrain ourselves and meticulously plan to bring about that destruction for that person. So you could savor the moment. But I would the father go and do boy. You don't savor that moment boy. So the only thing we know is whether whether done the Lord the Lord remember as scripture say in Ecclesiastes three fifteen. You know that which had been had had been is now and that which is to be had already been. And Paul remember that which is past. Right? So the thing all it did to the China Israel from back then to now to the Atlantic slave trade. And now right? Because remember the scripture say you know he, he, he have a perpetual hatred. You know? Perpetual you know, he, he had that forever. You know? Right? From back then to, to now. And this is why the scripture say you never trust your enemy. You know, everybody feeling that, you know, the white man is not the same as before. There is a perpetual <laughs> hatred and there is no no come thing and there is a thing from yeah. since ancient time. Yeah. From since Jacob and Esau. Right? Mm -hmm. They from back then to now. Perpetual. Right? I think it goes before that. Because I think it's easy to talk about the trees that envy Adam. Can. Uh, no, or the yeah. trees that envy Adam. The haters. haters. Mm. Right? That is why they will say, I hate them that hate thee. Yeah. With a perfect hatred, they three from seven beginning. Yeah. <laughs> damn, damn. Right? And that goes into the remember the movie we were watching earlier where the woman said killing is in my DNA. Can. You know? They don't they don't shy away from shedding blood. They did interviews and anybody feel free to go and research it. Where they question from the young to the old, all willing to, and capable of committing murder against so called blacks, Latinos and Native American Indians. They all express their willingness mm -hmm. to commit murder yeah. because they believe these people 
well you know is the enemy they believe that they're superior that these people is not more than weeds and I, I, I put up a video where we all know about Planned Parenthood and the person behind it, Margaret Sanger. They, it actually came out now where they say the words out of their own mouth that she instituted Planned Parenthood to wipe out the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. He saw say it out of their own mouth. They wasn't saying it before. Prophecies coming in the past, and the Lord say He's gonna reveal His nakedness. His nakedness is gonna be uncovered. He's gonna tell on Himself, right? We see these things. Where that? The back of Paul say, "But in hatred, in Genesis chapter three, verse fourteen, say, and the Lord power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman." And between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. But what I'm talking about, I'm clearly talking about Jacob and Esau. You understand? It say it will bruise his head, but he would bruise what? The heel. You understand? What, what, when, um, the scripture say Esau is what? The end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. The scripture say what? The elder shall serve the younger. You understand? So the serpent's seed, right? Esau, his head is going to be bruised. By the woman seed, Jacob, the other son. So that just to show you that it is with it is Jacob and Esau, but it go back to Abel, Cain and Abel. Ah. You understand? As they say, with the trees in the garden, go back since the creation, since the beginning of time. It's always had that perpetual hatred. And that is, that is why I say also, when the children come out, having done no good or evil, the other son, yeah, the Lord hate him from since the womb. I say Esau, Jacob, I love and Esau, have I hated? Scripture say what? Is there any unrighteousness with the Lord? The Lord forbid. For I'll have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So even before they were born, the Lord knew the spirits that was in Rebecca's womb. You understand? Because he knew it go straight back. And from that moment, they died when the Lord started hate Esau. From the beginning. Till now. The Lord, you remember if you could get Psalms 109 and 14. Are we down to 16. The Lord, does, the Lord does remember. The Lord, have, the Lord have records in it. This is Psalms 109 from verse 14 to verse 16. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with Yahweh, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Is that Yahweh precept? Let them be before Yahweh continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in hand. Yeah, he slay the broken in hand, boy. We done in this low state, and this man still at it, boy. Yeah, but he won't stop, boy. Right, he persecuted the poor, boy. He showed no mercy. Neither to the old or the young. But he won't mercy from you. You see in the jakes in the plantation, children in the plantation, in the cotton field too, you know. Pull any basket I cut nothing to you. He showed no remorse by it. How much, how much husbands have to watch the wives being ravished by the overseers at the plantation and them? How much of them have to watch that? And the children watching that and they have to just grit the teeth and take it. Now thank you, Abba Hashem, we're not going to be doing that. Because there is such a thing as righteous rulership and we're going to be ruling righteously. So we're not going to exact the type of vengeance they exacted on us by doing these things that are condemned in the law. We're going to exact the vengeance upon them lawfully. Because as the scriptures say, it's a, it, it's, a, it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation upon them that trouble you. And they have troubled us as long as, as, as we can remember. They have always been a thorn in our side. It's gonna, it's gonna... It's going to be fierce upon them because Can't. scripture say we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. Right? So, it's going to be fierce. Fierce on them. We're going to deal with them fierce. Can't. But you know, after that thousand years, you know, you deal with them according to the law. Right? I'd like to show you to Esau. Remember the scripture I read in Genesis. It said that serpent will be lower than any beast of the field. Because that thousand years, we're going to rule over them. After a thousand years, that is the day for Esau, and Esau gone. 
the other nations, they can go back in the land. You understand? They will go back to the borders and pay tribute and you know. But Esau now, that is a day for Esau, Esau Gordon. Not a question now. You think in the in that time the other nations when they had to go through that same punishment, you don't think they will be hated on Esau? Sorry. Imagine we be from confederacy with you yeah. to torment these people and look who we had to go through be because remember Psalms 83 say they form yeah. a confederacy. So what if I'm just asking, what if these other nations and all in that in that captivity hating on Esau? Yeah. You know they all of them come together and they hating you know, him. You see, they're gonna rejoice and all when he saw going yeah. because he saw he oppress all <laughs> he make all nations drink the wine and fornication right he invade a lot yeah. you know he oppress a lot and this is why the scriptures say when when the wicked in authority the people moan but when the righteous in authority the people gonna rejoice yeah. you know so you know time to come you know even these Edens and all hey they, 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 might, they might rejoice yeah. right what we said, Amos 1 and 11, does say here, how, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So what he lost, he will not turn away, what? He will not turn away the punishment. He will not turn away the punishment. So all you jigs out there that, you know, he want to say, well, you know, he saw so that half married, let me show him mercy. The Lord didn't think, and that's why the Lord say, our ways is not his ways. God. Our thoughts is not his thoughts. You know, the Lord will think like that. Right. Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah 14, and start at 21 to 22. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities for I rise up against them saith the Lord of hosts and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew saith the Lord Yes, yeah, so the Lord ain't going to leave no, no remnant of them you know? no nephew, no niece after that, you know, after that thousand years, you know, yeah. he's going to be eradicated, yeah. right? So he said, prepare slaughter for his children and you know, for the iniquity of their fathers. So don't feel the fathers are going to escape and the sins going to think on the children. No, because we just talked about that. We will go into that just now, right? They are of their fathers, right? Good. And this is Jeremiah 32 and verse 18, right? Thou showest love and kindness unto thousands. And recompense it the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty power, Yahweh of hosts is his name. Can if you can get Job 5 and 4. Get Job 21 and 19. Job chapter 5 verse 4 His children are far from safety and they are crushed in the gate neither is there any to deliver them Right, remember the scriptures talk about you know, he saw feel that he ain't going to know the loss of children Right, he's going to know the loss of children right. Same way, you know, he, we did unto our, our children You're going to know the loss of children now Your children are going to be dashed to pieces Right, go ahead This is Job chapter 21 verse 19 Power laid up his iniquity for his children. He rewarded him, and he shall know it. Good. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what pleasure had he in his house after him, when the number of his months is cut off in the midst? Okay. The Lord, the Lord going to deal with him. You know, so as the scripture is talking about, you know, he prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. It's not to say like that their father is going to escape the judgment and the, the children going to, you know, take the sins from the fathers. No. Get Ezekiel 18 and 18. Ezekiel 18 verse 18. As for his father, because he truly oppressed spoiled his brother by violence 
and did that which is not good among his people, lo, even he shall die in his iniquity. Even he shall die in his iniquity. So he ain't gonna escape. Right? Even if the, 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 the fathers. Right? He so he cruel. He's a cruel, a cruel one. He oppressed his wife. Right? He did evil. He shed so much of blood. And well, I feel that he's gonna escape and he try and go down, you know, take that burden for him. And nothing gonna happen to him. And he's gonna get away scot free. No. No, sir. Um, right? Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 13. I said that too, and they say, Thus saith the Lord Power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Timon, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Power. Yeah. This is Psalms, all of these are for, Psalms 147, from okay. verses 5 to 9. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai be in their mouth, and a two edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. When you go back, and when you go back into that, that fetter of iron is these same yoke, the yokes of iron, with that around our necks. That gonna be placed around their necks. Our scripture says a righteous thing to recompense tribulation unto them. That trouble thee. They. they did trouble us. They did oppress us, and they gonna be oppressed. That's why the scripture say, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Every one of them, you know. The Lord didn't say few, or some of them. You know. Every one of them shall be devoured. It wasn't us, it was our forefathers. But again, as we always say, are they claiming innocence? Yet are they using the same systems that all your forefathers <laughs> set up to prosper and benefit and all they make no change? So there's an old saying, the upholder is just as guilty as the thief. So we, you, Esau would have you believe, focus on the thief because thiefing is wrong. But he wouldn't tell you focus on the person who knowing the thief thiefing and insane or doing anything about it. And they would, if, they, if they was for real, they'd do like um, Zacchaeus. Yeah. They'd I give back all the wealth that they steal and the land that they stole, they would have gave it back. Yeah, they saw, if they had a way to live, they would have go and live on the reservations and uh, they'd give the natives the best parts of the land and they would have give back the wealth. If they're so here, yeah, they saw, they're so <laughs> love, they'd do what, what um, Zacchaeus do. But they, they do the complete opposite. They yeah. tell Jake, work, work for whatever wealth we got here. <laughs> they said no reparations. Yeah. What are you getting all the reparations for? Because they know, sh should that be a thing that we say the scripture had decreed that? Them can't pay that back. They would have be broke. Yeah. They would go broke. Yeah. Every Edomite government had to pay reparation. Every Arab person had to pay reparation. These people would be the poorest on the earth. Yeah. And we know them don't want that. So we know come to tell us that was all your forefathers, all your mean well, no. Meaning well or saying that all they sympathize and all they care, it must have action behind it. And as scripture say, the wicked as soon as he is born, roughly paraphrasing, they go off speaking lies. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to believe nothing of this. Mm -hmm. Did I finish that? Yeah, I finished. Of verse 9. Yeah. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh. Yes, Psalms 137, start at 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Yes, so the Lord say what? Remember. Remember. So he ain't forget. He ain't forget. Right? He know what we forget. <laughs> You know, even the Lord gonna pay it in our minds, in 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 in, in the, coming down in these in the in these last days, the Lord gonna stir it up in our minds what they did to our Lord. That gonna make us fierce. When the Lord, yeah, the Lord say Israel gonna be his battle, his weapons of war, and with them he gonna destroy the rider. 
right? Destroy these nations. You know? Go ahead. You can't read no daughter of Babylon who are to be destroyed. Who are to be who, who, who going and be destroyed. You can say maybe, you know. Yeah. Our thinking about destroying all it. No. He says who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Can. We're going to rejoice in, in, in carrying out that judgment yeah. on all you. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that take it and dash it thy little ones against the stone. Yeah, so happy we're going to be when we're going to do all the the same thing. Now we're going to, hey, right at night, hey, the Lord really had to put his spirit, the Lord's spirit had to be within we to basically do that. To. Right? So the Lord to put our spirit, actually, he could hold our child and mash up our yeah. child. Stump a child, mash him up. I will say, if, can, I will say, even now, right now, we don't really have our anger yet because we hear them, but to say we could just walk up and watch our baby, you might feel our way, you feel our way towards them. But that brother said, you know, how to really put our spirit in you, that real kind of uh, anger away. So, to, to do to execute that, that judgment that they rightfully deserve. Yeah. I'm looking for the precept that said that the father will remove the pity from we heart for them, you know. Yeah. I think for me, I just can remember where the father to, 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 to deliver that punishment. The father had to take pity from we had. And you know, it's the funny thing. Jake does show no pity to his brother. He has no, he has no qualms about destroying his, his, his brother's children. But the oppressor, Jake, Jake, Jake can't fathom having that kind of rage for Esau either. And, 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 and when the children, what they did to our children. J.K. even fathom doing that. I was watching an interview where Jake was saying, if one of these either my policemen kill his son, he said, I'm not going to say anything. He said, I'm not going to pick it. I'm not going to think. He said, I'm going to quietly bury my son. Yeah. And he said, then I'm going to come and find you and kill your son. And people view the man like, this man is a murderer, boy. What kind of talk is that? The man said, if you saw it fit to kill my son, why can't I kill your son? And Esau set up a system and has brainwashed the people to accept the murdering of your children at their hands. But you shouldn't even think, much less carry about and recompense them the very same thing that they did to you. Yes, exactly. Thine eye shall not pity him, but thou shalt put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with thee. Ah, we, we wouldn't pity them. Mm -hmm. The Father going to have to remove that pity yeah. from us to be able to recompense them 100%. Yeah. What they did to us, the Father didn't say give them some enough. Mm -hmm. It's to <coughs> recompense them every single thing that they did to us. They have to feel the brunt of it. It's yeah. a right. Thing. Because like in this body right now, let me say you pick up one of them babies and the parents run up crying, bowling, you know, don't do it to the one bowling and thing. You'll feel away. You yeah. mightn't be able to execute them. You might get them back your child. Yeah. You see, you see how them could easily come back at Esau. You see how them could easily take me children and crock an alligator bait and thing. You see how yeah. them just do it. Jake might have had that, that, that level like Esau. Jake might still feel pity. But what's going to take place? You see them, you see that in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. When them things get executed, we feel we don't be on my mind. The Lord will not cause we to see everything they, everything they do. So when, when you see it, everything they do, right, imagine you in slavery. Right? The Lord might make you remember something from our past life to what them do to your child. Ah. You understand? You feel when you when you get our rage upon you, you feel you can't get them back there? No. no. Dash that against us. With no with no remorse whatsoever. Because the love that you have for yours and, and the fact that they had no pity for that love, you will just give them back what they give you. And the scripture say what? Double. So to execute double, 
what yeah, you boy. saw do. Yeah, boy. You can't, you don't even, you can't even think about what I you could do. That, yeah. To execute double into what them, to what them do, buddy. You understand? You really had to be in that new body. And you yeah. had to put a spirit on it. Yeah. Well, you know, well, the Lord tell, tell the angels after the elect being seen, he said, go into the midst and spare none. Spare <laughs> none. And no pity, <laughs> but slay old, young, children, everything. So, hey, when the Lord put his spirit on these men and them, hey, hey, good and be, good going and be, that's it for you, so. <laughs> bye, bye. You're going to be terrible on, and they were the ship, I say, the Lord going to be terrible unto them, you know. What does he fight in prowess, so? God. Can you imagine how, how these men had to be feeling them to see this man? I, 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 I treat poorly, I do this, I do that. And this man coming and this man moving different, he looking different. <laughs> these men had they're going to be shitting bricks. God. When they see Jake's picking up tanks, <laughs> pelting it like paper. Mm-hmm. Jake hitting man a punch and disintegrating him with one blow. God. His body parts scattering. And these way these people need. Yeah. Because let, let me be real. If they had that power, you think they would have shy away from using it against us? Oh no, we but don't they would have rule we even fiercer. Oh. You gotta remember, we are the slaves. They still need us yeah, to, to, to keep the system going. Oh. The industry going. Oh. So they're going to kill some so that so the others may fear and keep them in check. That is the system they employed during slavery. Yeah. They kill some to send a message. Mm-hmm. So what, and those that fear and humble themselves, they broke the spirit. And what they do? They had breeding farms and they continue to breed us. So those who fear are going to teach the new generation to fear as well. Mm-hmm. So they would eliminate that, that spirit of wanting to escape, that spirit of wanting to uprise against the oppressor. Come. But when we have the power, the spiritual power, Brother man, them ain't even thinking about uprising. And for you, so you know, you know it many kingdoms in the um, you know, my mind. In the kingdom, you feel you're gonna have a good, good either my slave, and you know you're gonna bring him into the house and make him a, a house, a house either my and take care of him. It's not gonna have none of that in the kingdom, but it have no house slave in the kingdom. So you go feel? get a little better treatment, no. In the no, the right truth. In the field. A thousand years. Yeah, they don't have, they don't gotta have, they don't gotta have, hey, but this either hey. might be money working hard and, you know, hey. and sorry for she and, and no, 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 no. You saw go be praying for the Sabbath, <laughs> for your soul that you put together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so I true. read it, scripture showed that when the, when the Lord, you know, used them against us. He said the soul of all your foot ain't going to have no ease, no rest. Yeah. Right? Tell thou be destroyed. So you're going to come on to them. All that work, all that work, and hey, it have no sunscreen. <laughs> it have no sunscreen, all that they can rub on all your body in. All they're gonna no get it raw fire, raw, fire, raw heat. No ice to Skin gonna foot. be blistered in the brick pits. They said that the Lord to say, um, in the morning, they would say, would God it were even. And in the evening, they would say, would God it were morning. No rest for me. 24 7. Facing. Yeah, they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna get it. When you're separating the seed, Growing up as a little child, pick a little cut now. It have something the seed used to give us. I used to blister the tip of your finger. Mm-hmm. You say your finger so. Imagine our people picking that night and day every day with that blister. They can't. They get no ointment to use it, no cloth to wrap it, nothing. And they have to meet the quota. Imagine that boy. Well, yeah. so these to get at that boy. Yeah. That's it. Anything? Or anything? No, well, with that, you know, we hope it was edifying. We like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the Mori, Pushin, the Gospel, and Sincerity and Truth. They're the brothers from Jeremiah's Trinidad Camp, saying, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.